for stormy weather tonight. Here we go again. Yeah, Brian Goddard joins us now with the forecast. Brian? Yeah, totally different, though, from last night where we had that huge squall line making its way out of Minnesota and Iowa into Wisconsin. And it was about this time last night, right when we got off the air, uh, is when uh, the Platteville area got hit. And then around midnight, uh, when Verona and Madison got hit. This is a thunderstorm that has developed over the last 45 minutes, making its way into Walworth County. Not severe, but some torrential rains, a lot of lightning, and could be seeing some maybe P to nickel size. Hail. It'll be in the East Troy area and Burlington area uh, by around 1030. Just issued about three minutes ago. Everywhere you see in orange, that is Milwaukee, Waukesha, Jefferson, Walworth, Racine, Kenosha counties here in southeastern Wisconsin. Severe thunderstorm watch until 4 a.m. As you notice, though, not a whole lot of activity. The one thunderstorm here, which is not severe, and then the one back out towards Dubuque, this one is, and it's working its way to the northeast. So unlike last night where it was just widespread storms, this is more hit and miss, and those are the ones you really want to watch out for as well uh, for tornadic activity, but more importantly, more heavy rain possible. Six tornadoes last night, two in Platteville, four around the Madison area, of course the one F3 in Verona, and then there was an F2 just about a mile southwest of the state capitol on the ground for a couple hundred yards. To not do any damage to the capital. Uh, the sixth latest start to the season, the latest being June 28th back in 1995. Um, the peak is this month. We knew it was going to happen eventually. Unfortunately, it had to happen last night. And this was just before midnight last night. You see all the shear markers on there indicating rotation in the storm. There were two F1s. They quickly lifted up and then became an F3. Unfortunately, in the town of Verona, as you heard earlier in the newscast, wasn't on the ground for very long, maybe five minutes. But it did a lot of damage in that five minutes. And we also were talking about the lightning and the heavy rain. How about three and a half inches of rain in Beloit, Fond du Lac, uh, about two inches of rain. Also in West Bend, here in Milwaukee, just under an inch of rain. Uh, no thunderstorms here yet. It's 72 degrees, a little bit of humidity outside. 86 was the high, 84 in Watertown, 85 in Lake Geneva. And temperatures now have dropped into the 70s. We'll only drop into the 60s tonight with those thunderstorms around. The best chance for severe weather, obviously, closer to the state line. And tomorrow, a little bit cooler, the east-southeast wind off the lake. 70s along the lakefront, low to mid-80s inland, and seeing some scattered afternoon storms. And once again, evening and overnight, everything's forming along this stationary boundary. So get used to the active weather. Could see another inch, maybe two inches of rain in some of those downpours. 77 tomorrow, scattered storms in the afternoon, warm and humid. A 10-day outlook, 74 on Thursday, 77 Friday and Saturday, and Sunday, 74 degrees with those scattered thunderstorms. Next week looks much quieter for Summerfest. There'll just be a lot of noise because of the music, not because of Mother Nature. <laughs>